Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one, we are going to modify a distance calculator program that we created previously. So, in that program, the output was done into a list box. However, we are going to modify it so the output is written into a text file. So, if I run the program we done before, I'll, I'll put, uh, let's say, 40 miles an hour, 3 hours travel time, I click Calculate, and everything is displayed into a list box. After hour 1, the vehicle traveled 40 miles, 2 hours, 80 miles, and so forth. But we are going to modify it so it doesn't output it into a list box, but instead writes it into a uh, text file. Okay, so this is the code for the previous program, and uh, I'm going to keep some of it. I'm going to remove some other parts. So uh, what I'm going to add uh, is a try catch because we are going to be working with the text files. So we have to make sure that if the text file doesn't open or something goes wrong in a, when we are trying to write into it, we have some kind of an error message. And of course, I'm going to remove the list box. We don't need the list box in the form anymore. So I'm just going to remove that. That of course is going to give me an error here because the list box doesn't work anymore. It's not present anymore. It's not on the form, but that's okay. I'm going to delete that, the clear part uh, that we used to clear the list box. And before the for loop that we uh, have to output uh, the output into a text box, I mean list box, uh, we are going to use that to do the writing into a file. So before that, we are, I'm going to use try catch, like I said. So I'm going to try, and I'm going to put everything within the for loop into the try, and then catch. And we are going to catch the uh, exception. Let's call it ex. And oops, I misspelled catch. And uh, if there is an error, uh, then uh, we are going to output uh, or display a message box with the error text in it. So message box but show, and we are going to display the message from the uh, try catch exception that was caught. All right, so uh, we have a try, we have our loop. Now, I don't need the list box anymore, but I'm going to uh, keep it for now because I'm going to use the same output. It's just going to be written into a file. So we calculate the distance. But before that, let's do the before the for loop, after the try, let's declare a variable. So it's going to be stream writer. And um, I'll call it output file. Now, StreamWriter, it says uh, that the namespace StreamWriter is missing. So uh, we can fix that by uh, using system.io into our libraries. So now our output file is valid. It's going to hold the StreamWriter type. And now we can uh, create a file. So output file equals the file that create and we are creating a text file so let's do create text and I'll call it distance.txt now I'm not using any path for the for the file it's going to output it into a debug slash bin folder when you don't put any uh, path in before the uh, file name I'm just using file name and it's going to output it by default into a debug folder. All right, so we have our. All right, so we have our stream writer. We have our output file, and now we are looping and calculating the distance. And after each calculation, we are going to output the result or write the result into our text file. So our output file, and we will use the right line. And 
we are going to write I'm going to copy what I had in the list box I'm going to copy the whole thing we are going to output the same thing so it's gonna say after hour one the vehicle traveled uh, let's say 40 miles uh, after hour two the vehicle traveled 80 miles and so forth so now I can delete the list box lst output that items that add because we don't have this box anymore and that should do it except one more thing after the for loop we need to uh, actually close the stream writer so let's do the output file dot close that will close it because we are not writing in it anymore all the writing is done within the for loop and once we close it we can uh, if you don't do anything there's no message or any indication that anything really happened if we run it now so uh, after we close the file we can display a message that the file was created so the user knows that actually something happened so show and it's gonna say file was created okay so this should do for the modification let's run it so we don't have the list box anymore so 40 miles per hour three hours i click calculate and it says the file was created and like i said the file was created in the debug folder now currently i don't have it visible if you don't either then click the icon over here on the right that says show all files if you click that the bin folder is going to be visible now so let's do bin slash debug and here is our distance.txt and if i click it you can see that it says the same output that we had in our list box before so if i run it again let's say i do uh, 55 miles an hour and i do five hours i click calculate file was created uh, now it says since i have the distance.txt open it says that it uh, it is open and there were some changes made to it in externally because i ran it again and we wrote into it again so i'm just going to click yes to display the changes and write them into a file and you can see that the new output is now being uh, written into the text file the old one is overwritten we're not keeping the old one we are not appending text to it we are just adding new text and creating new file uh, we, uh, each time we run the uh, we click the button okay so uh, yeah this is the uh, this is the modification so we, it's the same output but written into a text file kind of similar logic as far as the loop is concerned so i hope this was helpful and i will see you in the next video take care